Hey, it's EJ Bobo Three, and let's begin. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy EJ Bobo Boy Three, and welcome back to Mortal Kombat Nine. As you can see on the screen, we got some interesting shit to dive into. Uh, season two of Mortal Kombat One has just started, and we have Omni Man added to the fray. I I can't believe this dude. Holy crap, man! This is so cool. And now, along with Omni Man, they also fill out the entire roster with all of the characters. So, we have Omni Man right there. Next to him is going to be Peacemaker, Bottom, Homelander, and then Quan Chi rounding off. And then off to the other side by Katana, we have Ermac and uh, Takeda. Now, we have the spot in the middle that's still empty. I have no idea what that could be. But we have Omni Man in the fray, and that's what we're gonna deal with today. But we're gonna check out the entire uh, new season see what we have to deal with before we dive fully into Omni Man. So let's let's do that, shall we? Let's do that. All right. So with the new season comes a brand new shop. So let's see what we're dealing with here. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Okay. So they have Deadly Deadly Alliance Sub Zero. That his alternate. That's not <laughs> that's not the old man Sub Zero from Deadly Alliance. That's his alternate skin. That looks pretty nice. That actually looks really, really cool. I'm not a big fan of it. It's it's a little too big for my taste, but if you're a big fan of Deadly Alliance Sub-Zero, that's cool. You also have the announcer, Omni-Man. Really, really awesome. <laughs> you can have you can have Jake and Simmons narrate who you pick for 10 bucks. That's cool. And then Rotating Shop. Oh, okay. So they finally released that skin. The uh, festival skin for Catania. Wow, it took them a minute to do that. I know people were wanting that, and I'm glad they finally did it. And then we got the MK3 Jack with the metal arms. Yeah. And then I see that down there. Holy shit, that's actually insane. We have Deception Lee May. Oh my god, that is awesome. <laughs> Dude, I was waiting for Lee Mei to get some of her classic skins. This is cool. I thought they were going to do like her dragon armor first before this. But this is really, really cool too, man. Yeah, I want... Give me, give me it, give me it, give me it, give me it. I'm going to learn Lee Mei just because of this. That is so damn cool. So yeah, they're, they're, bringing, the, they're bringing the thunder for this uh, first uh, shop. <laughs> yeah, this is really, 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 really cool. Oh my god. Now let's, uh, let's see what we have for the seasonal items. So now, Season of the Blood Moon. This is a Natara led season. So I bet we're going to get some good stuff. Let's check out what we got. So last season, everybody was on fire and red and shit. So. Ooh, the black and gray color palettes. Oh, wow. These are, these are nice. He's, uh, oh my god. Is everybody gonna get like, a, get like an undead version? Yeah, these are clean. These are clean. Oh my god. Yeah, everybody has like an like an undead vampiric version in this. I actually don't hate this. This is actually really cool. I also have to, I have to dive into invasions because all of my coins are gone. Before this reset, I had like 70,000, but now we have to redo it. <laughs> Yeah, these color palettes are really, really cool. I like the skins. I like the skins that have the vampiricness to them more than just you know bloody and tattered. But these are really, really cool. Does oh, Omni Man doesn't have anything. I was like, are they gonna give Omni Man something? What the fuck is that? What is that mask? That is insane. Yeah, of course, Havoc looks like really good with this on, <laughs> with this uh, undead stuff on. I figured he would. But that, that headgear is insane. Holy crap. Alright. Let's check out Invasion Season 2. Let's see what the hell has changed for Invasions. I'm very curious to see what uh, what has changed about... Oh, Blood Moon. Cutscene. The Natara who now vexes us is from one of the few timelines where Veternian... When they discovered oh. other timelines <laughs> and the failure of Veternians within them to flourish... This Nitara's Veternians mobilized for war. They planned to liberate every timeline's vampires and set them on the path to conquest. Man. 
If they are not vanquished, they will enslave all beings to Vaternis. That's a that's a cool skin. I'm excited to see it fully fleshed out. Now I know that they offered a bunch of uh, changes to. I'm pretty sure they offered like a. They said like last uh, yesterday in the combat cast that Invasion's got a whole lot of like changes made to it. So now I'm pretty sure um, ambushes happen a whole lot less. And I think you can just, I think you just straight up move faster. You can now, yeah, so yeah, you can do that to cycle. Alright, let's do a couple of these invasion matches, see how, see how it's feeling. Fine. So, in, so it's very interesting, because we are picking up right after, we're picking up right where Invasion Season 1 ended, at the Fire Temple. That's pretty damn cool. Direct you some of The easiest Johnny combo no to man. Finish her. There. So yeah, it's still proportionally it. easy. It's not that bad. Yeah. So yeah, everybody's so yeah, everybody's been knocked back down to level one. Every single person. Omni Man. Oh my god, can you just <laughs> Seeing Omni Man on that board. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah. Now, along with this, they also changed. Let me see. Oh, yeah, you just you book it now. <laughs> Holy crap. And you know, off the beaten path. But yeah, this is cool. I'm going to dive into this more probably off and see what we get. But now, I think it's time for us to dive into Omni Man. Now, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. This is going to be just training for the most part. Omni -Man. We're going to be just figuring out what the hell we want to do. Scorpion. Oh, yeah. This is looking nice. All right. Let's, let's, let's do this, man. God, he looks angry. Round one. All right. We're in. No. This is just me going off what I'm looking like. Okay. So he walks very slow. But he, he like has power to him. <laughs> Shit, hold on. Please stop. Please stop. I'm trying to learn. Alright. Let's do some combos. Yeah, he's a heavy hitter. Rocket. <laughs> okay. Think. Fuck, fuck you, Nether Realm. <laughs> no, they can't think, Mark. Think. Oh, that's cool. Okay, okay. Now this EX. Yeah. Oh my God. You. You like do a quarter to help her help her. Oh my God. Come on, Melina! Come on, Melina! Oh, that is that, that is bull. It is cool seeing this done on Omni Man because you know he is pretty much untouchable right now. But you know this isn't. Listen, we might as well. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, we gotta do a fatality. We gotta do a fatality. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god. Just. It's just chaos. It's just chaos, man. Oh my god, I love that. I love that so much. <laughs> so, first impressions. From what I'm gathering, Omni-Man plays very, very, very... Like, he walks very slow. He's a he's a very slow-moving person. But then he speeds up and he just... He's 
he's going. He just goes for it, man. He He's a very, very, very heavy hitter. Like, his attacks were doing insane damage. I wasn't even doing that many, like, button prompts. He just kind of goes, dude. So far, I'm liking the feel of him. I am going to, like, take the time to learn him. And then probably, like, in, in a video or two, we're going to go online with him. I have a feeling that I'm going to be playing a lot of omni Man if I go online right now. So I'm going to let him cool down. I'm not going to lose the raid. His four triangle, is ju it just does that. Hold on. His four triangle is just a wraparound hit. Oh my god. Speaking of Omni-Man, um, if, anyone, if, if no one's seen it, Invincible Season 2 just came out last week, the first episode. And it looks pretty damn good. I watched the first episode and it is amazing. I think episode 2 is out today of the time recording. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Woo! Think, think. If you haven't watched it, it's amazing. Alright. That was not very nice, Rain. Finish you. What? What? Oh, I'm just, just posed on this. <laughs> Where did he get that big chunk of rock? <laughs> Holy crap. Alright. I just, I love that move where he just goes at you chest first. Think. God. Oh, good, good move. Good moves on this part. <laughs> the realms are mine. So that pose I'm hitting is it looks like it's a it looks like it's like a uh, command thing where I can't remember it's, I can't remember who had it. It's like you press a button, you enter a stance, and then you press another attack button, it does a various move depending on which one you press. I'm gonna try that I'm gonna have to try to note this next round. Round one fight. Okay, yeah, so he enters his damn stance, and then he can do various things. I can't remember, someone had that. I can't remember exactly who had that before, but... I'm, a, I'm moving too slow to get the damn thing. Hold on. Because this looks like a launcher, right? Hold on. I'm trying to do like a launcher move. If I let me. Ugh. Oh, I almost had something there. Hold on, wait a minute, hold on. Come here. Ooh. Oh my god, that's so cool. So now I have my launcher. I was I was looking for a launcher for Omni Man. I couldn't find it. I just found it. <laughs> I just found it. <laughs> so that stance and square is leading to some good good stuff. Oh my god, I have a new cape. <laughs> I'm blue. I'm blue. <laughs> I was curious, yeah, because I was wondering, what gear are they going to give Omni-Man? So he gets new bracers and a new cape. So I'm going to guess the chest design is going to always stay the same. Cause I can't think of I can't think of any like um outfit they can do for him besides you know his chest being bloody from the end of season one the end of episode one season one of Invincible. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, look it up. It's it's so damn good. All right. Also, I do want to like I do want to like say amazing job to the Netherrealm team because they somehow made a cartoon character. Like a, like a 2D cartoon character come to life so well Stop embarrassing in this. Yourself. Okay, Round shut up, Omni Man. I'm talking. Oh my god, the spine grab. Hold on. Now I'm curious if, if I can move fast enough. 
Cause I, if you can see what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to start a combo. I want, I'm trying to start a combo, go into the grab, and uh, <laughs> launch him into the air. I've gotten hit with every single x-ray. Every single x-ray so far. <laughs> I guess I'm trying to test the strength. That's so good. That's so good. Wait, oh. I was just clicking shit. I didn't mean. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Omni Man, she's dead. Stop. I was just pressing buttons. How did I do that? I was just pressing shit. Is that how people in the 90s felt at the arcades, just pressing random buttons and then the thing happened? Well, duh, well, there he goes. There was his first, there was his second fatality in full. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> that was, that was great. I, how did I, only me, only I could do that shit. <laughs> oh, that's a, yeah, that's a good combo under. Hold on. Oh, striker, please. Up we go. Okay, 24 damage. Listen, 24 no bar is really damn good. Hold on, he has a brutality. How do I do this? How the hell do I do this? Hold down during a toss. God. <laughs> What a disgrace to your species. Brutality. Jeez. Omni Man wins. <laughs> that is a direct reference to how he killed the Wonder Woman knockoff in Invincible with the blood cough and everything. He's just he he's not Omni Man, he's reference man. He's actually just reference man, dude. <laughs> I've never killed another Viltrumite before. That's a lie. They are a species of war. Hi. It only makes sense to do it to him. Yeah. There we go. I win. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I feel like I have to on this i feel like i have to on myself right this copycat i'm gonna take you for a ride the screams of anguish the screams of agony they really just nailed it man it's just perfect dude genuinely i he omni man is a threat to society <laughs> he plays really really smooth just from the little bit i've learned in this tower without a cameo because I haven't found a good cameo for him yet I just picked Scorpion because I need to pick a cameo by himself he is already just a threat a full on threat he has a very very easy 24 damage combo which you can just keep doing and it's also insanely flashy the dragon toss is so cool I'm very excited to see what the hell his ending is going to be round one fight Oh my god. Oh, also, we gotta go through the... I gotta finish, like, the end of the story mode to see what he says to Liu Kang at the end. There we go. Come here, man. Yeah, 20, 25. That, that's great. That's so good. Think. 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 I did it. I did it. <laughs> Again, this is just shit that I'm in. We'll just be doing. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. And there they go. I'm so ready to see what the hell Nolan's gonna do <laughs> now that he's won.
desperate to avoid defeat. Just punched a hole through his chest. Shang Tsung had stolen me from my timeline to set me against Liu Kang. He assumed a Viltrumite would shift combat in his favor. So that's how he got here, Shang got it. Shang Tsung was right, of course. But he was blinded by ambition and failed to consider that my only true loyalty is to the Viltrum Empire. Damn. In my home timeline, my mission to pacify Earth for Viltrum had been left incomplete. Mm. I thought I could redeem myself by delivering this new timeline. New realms, new species, all ours for the taking. God, the pile of bodies. For a few years, annexing realms satisfied the Empire's hunger for conquest. But my people have excellent memory. I yeah. knew sooner or later we would return to our own timeline, to Earth. Oh my god. <laughs> finish my original mission. I only hope my son has had time enough to prepare. Dude, oh my god, that little snippet of Invincible at the end. Hell yes. So that was Omni-Man's ending for Mortal Kombat 1. That typical shit. He he takes over. I figured, but now, and now he's got to deal. He's got to go back and fight Martin. He's got to go beat the shit out of his son. It, that's how it be. <laughs> that was that was really really fun. That was a lot of fun. We're not quite done yet. I am going to go real quick, finish the last chapter of story mode, and then see what the hell he says to Luke Kang. I'm very curious about that. All right. <laughs> Oh man, oh that is disappointing. <laughs> it's only base roster. You can't uh why didn't they put the DLC? Damn it, man. That sucks. That is so upsetting. Ah oh, man. Well, you can't win them all, folks. Mortal Kombat 1 season 2 is looking really, really good. I am very excited to get some of this blood stuff. I, I'm, it's gonna be a, a lot of fun. Omni Man plays really, really well, and I'm excited for Tremor. Tremor comes out in about a, in about a week and a half, so I'm excited to see that pairing come to light. Anyways, I've been your boy Egypt Over 3. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so much. You guys are amazing, you guys are beautiful, you guys are wonderful, you guys are fantastic, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!